you are? I am too busy watching the news, that's why I didn't notice you. As I watch the news about coronavirus, I get too curious how does it really spread. Are you curious too? Well, why don't we jump now on our discussion? Let's go! We normally think that these pathogens are the mainly cause of an infectious disease. But did you know that these pathogens are only part of the factors of a communicable disease? The process is called chain of infection. But what is chain of infection? Chain of infection is a model that will guide us to understand the infection process. Each link of the chain should also be present for the infection to happen. Each link represents the step in the transmission. It involves the pathogen, reservoir, portal of exit, mode of transmission, portal of entry, and susceptible host. Let's discuss those links one by one. Pathogens refer to microorganisms that cause diseases. For easy understanding, it is also called as germs. We have different kinds of pathogens. The most common pathogens are virus, bacteria, fungi, and parasite. Reservoir refers to any living or non-living thing in which the pathogen may live. The pathogen can also reproduce in the reservoir. It can be in a form of human, animal, or an object. Portal of exit refers to where the pathogen gets out from the reservoir. In human body, the pathogen can escape from our nose, mouth, or break in the skin. Next is mode of transmission. It refers to the way the disease agent goes to another reservoir. Communicable disease can spread through direct transmission and indirect transmission. Direct transmission happens when pathogen transferred directly to another host. Direct transmission can be in the form of handshake, hugging, or kissing. Indirect transmission, on the other hand, occurs when there is no direct human-to-human -human transfer. It happens when the infected person transfers the infectious organisms through an intermediate object to a susceptible host. Indirect transmission can be in the form of object, air, or vector. Next link is portal of entry. This is where the pathogen gets inside the new reservoir. In human body, portal of entry can be in the form of nose, mouth, or break in the skin. Finally, it is transferred to a susceptible host, the person who can get sick when he or she is exposed to a pathogen, and this completes the chain of infection. A susceptible host can be anyone. Let us understand this further by having a sample. Let's read a story of Francis and Vince. Francis and Vince are brothers. They love to do things together, especially playing. One day, Francis was not feeling well and got influenza. Even though his parents asked him to rest, he still asked his brother to play with him. So they decided to play with their toys. While playing, Francis kept on sneezing and coughing. He even forgot to cover his nose and mouth using a handkerchief or tissue. The two didn't mind it and they continued playing. The next day, Vince had been sneezing and coughing. He don't feel well too. How did it happen? Let's find out. Let's use the story of Francis and Vince to understand the flow of chain of infection. But I want you to try it first. I will give you 5 seconds to answer. Timer starts now. Let's check your answers. The first link is pathogen. And we all know that it refers to germs. Now, Francis had influenza and influenza is caused by virus. So the pathogen is virus, not influenza. Influenza is the actual disease. Next is reservoir. The virus lives in the body of Francis and that makes Francis as the reservoir. He kept on sneezing and coughing while playing, right? When you sneeze, droplets may go out through your nose. When you cough, droplets can go out through your mouth. 
That is why it is important to cover your nose and mouth when coughing or sneezing. For mode of transmission, it can be direct or indirect transmission since we didn't know if they had direct contact or no contact while playing. But let's use the fact that they were playing. While Francis kept sneezing and coughing, the droplets may land on the toys that they are playing and Vince hold on to them, that's why the virus is now in his hands. Yikes! The virus may enter Vince's body through his nose, mouth, eyes, or break in the skin. Now, since the virus enters the body of Pins, he is now our new susceptible host. Did you get it? Observe that this is actually a cycle. The process may still repeat to other person. Who knows? It can be their mother, father, or other people who will have contact with them. After all, we cannot see the pathogens. There may be many ways for these communicable diseases to be transferred. But there are also a lot of ways that this can be prevented. So, how do we break the chain? I don't want to spoil you because that will be our next week lesson. So, for next week, expect that we will talk about breaking the chain of infection and preventing the infection. That's it for today. I want everyone to stay safe, stay home, and stay healthy. Goodbye!